We love hip hop. I'm gonna skip. You know what? I'm not gonna skip G Herbo. Okay. Salute to G Herbo, okay? Because G Herbo, he he obviously has the tune with five. All right, hold your head, top five. Um, let me see if I can pull up G Herbo's, aka Herb, No Limit Herb, G Herbo. Right now, I think he is might have turned himself in at this point. Let's see what is what's going on in his stories here. Mm, August 27, Unsigned Artist Music Festival. Meek Mill performing my ish. I know what it is. Any new artists, companies, up and coming talent, entrepreneurs, telegrams, y'all hit me up in my DM at under this post new talent, man. We're going to work. I'm going to fuck with you. You know, he DM me. I had posted um, the top five song there with him, you know, 21 questions. I tagged him. I posted it in the stories and I tagged G Herbo and top five, obviously. Right. And he it wasn't him, but somebody from the team responded back in the DMs. And the first thing that they asked me was something to the degree of. Yo, your music's great. Um, you know, uh, something about a collabo. It was something I was being solicited is basically what I'm trying to say to y'all. All right. And I found that funny. Let me see if I could actually find this. Cause I don't want to be all here. Just you know, sometimes y'all might be like, Friday be capping. You don't be talking to all these people. None of these people respond to him. Nobody gives a shit about Friday. You know what I'm saying? Nah, fam. Like, let me see here. No limit. Okay, G Herbo. Oh, it's gone. Gang. Okay, those are my DMs. I'm showing y'all. I've tagged them. Right? I tagged because they were playing it in the club. And my response was, I do what I do interviews up here, my brother. You know, we're the main hip hop platform, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And the reason I was responding that way is because it was like, yo, your music's hot. Let's do a collab. I was like, my music? What? I don't, I haven't done music since 2017. And this is not even like my personal account where you can be like, oh, you personally do music. No, it's We Love Hip Hop Network. So I found that very bizarre. And then I thought to myself, hmm, is there some cash grabbing going on over here? Is Herb, does Herbo know about what's going on in this account right now? That somebody's you know, running around on his behalf trying to get some lawyer fees for him right now? Because if y'all don't know, Herbo went away, if he's gone away, I think he's about to turn himself in, or he might have turned himself in already, but for some scamming, right? I'd be telling you, I, I was telling Dusty the other day on the podcast, these niggas be living in that smoke and mirrors life. <laughs> Rappers lie. They don't have the money that they tell you they have. Those chains is basically their whole net worth that they're running around that they can take off and put back on every night. Imagine your whole net worth. You could just take it off your neck and then put it in a box. That means you're not rich. You know what I'm saying? G Herbo. Let's see. Let's see. If we find some G Herbo news. So, this is from 11 hours ago, courtesy of Yahoo News. I, I was like, yo, like, I really felt like I needed to drive that point home the other day because these niggas be lying me. I got all the money. I got all the bitches. No, you don't. G 
G Herbo has been ordered to pay 140000 in resolution to victims whose identities were stolen as a part of a $1.5 million fraud scheme he admitted to participating in. According to Double XL, um, the rapper born Herbert Wright appeared in a Massachusetts court uh, for a hearing on July 28th, during which he pled guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and one um, count, one count of making a false statement to federal officers. Dun, dun, dun. Mr. Wright, um, you stolen account information um, as his all as his very own unlimited funding source using victims payment cards to finance an extravagant lifestyle and advance his career u.s attorneys josh levy said in a statement mr rice conduct affected countless businesses and individuals across the united states who had to foot nearly one hundred forty thousand dollar bill um, in unauthorized transactions, Mr. Wright flaunted his lavish spendings on social media, in music videos, and in industry news. Bro, you're telling me the chain was offered a dime of some, some niggas being frauded out, bro? That's not off the record sales? A lie. Really? Really? I had no idea. What? You're an independent rapper and you're not making a millions of dollars to have $300,000 worth of jewelry on your neck and be able to be at the court side of all the games and drive a maid back and you really don't have all that money? Really? But how? This is obvious, fam. If y'all niggas haven't been able to see this shit, then y'all are the ones who've been hoodwinked. Half these rap niggas are broke, broski. Like mega broke. Okay? Like they have the same amount of money as you and I just in the regular life. Okay? It's just that they are able to have access and look and wear free things and do things on layaway because of their name and their face card that you and I may not be able to do. Or maybe, maybe I might have a little bit of some of those perks. You know what I'm saying? I might be able to get a free grill or something here and there. However, on average, if you work at Walmart, you're not able to get free Walmart clothes. You may get an employee discount, but you're not lacing your whole closet off a walmart brand you know what i'm saying and you don't even want to okay if you work at the louis store the only way that your your whole closet is full of louis is if you're using the employee discount these niggas get the shit for free r.i.p virgil you know how much the off-white stuff cost I'm sure these niggas may buy some of it here and there for sure. But care packages are plentiful. How much is the sweater this nigga wearing right now? Probably like 3000 for the sweater. So that he could hang out with the rich folks, the real rich folks. The real rich folks, because what is he at a basketball game right here? This probably a, oh, oh, there it is. There's a rich guy. Hold on. Let me find you a rich person in this picture right here. Okay. See this guy right here? That hand? See the complexion on that hand right above my head? Right there. Right there. That's the rich guy. This motherfucker right here with all those big ass clink, 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 clinks on his neck. You, sir, are not rich. He's rich. You can't even see him. All you can see is his hand, and I can tell he's richer than you, my G. Holy. 
Niggas have been got the game twisted. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I've told parts of my um, PD Pablo story before. But there was multiple parts to this story. Okay? Salute PD Pablo. Right? North Carolina. Wave your flags up. You know what I'm saying? You know that? Remember that guy? North Carolina, where your flags are. Remember that guy? He was down here in Toronto. I told the story before in parts. He was down here in Toronto doing his thing thing. Um, he was P P D Pablo. There we are. North Carolina. There it is. Here he is. No, we want a better picture than that. How about this one here? North Carolina! Put your flags up! So they are over here. They're over at the Zanzibar. Anybody who knows the downtown and you know about the Zanzibar and the Ripper scene, if you know, you know. And I got a call, right? I was very good friends. I am good, very good friends, but at the time he was a bouncer over at the door at the at the bar he said yo pd pablo's in here with mike lighty um i think yeah r.i.p mike lighty right and they want a half oogie at a loud loud i said coming right up and I was there probably uh, 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Went to the bar, chilled out with them. I really had to lay the land at the time over at the Zanzi. Okay. I used to just walk in there. You know what I mean? See the owners and the, and the manager at the, at the bar, at the front of the bar. Yo, what up? What up? Right? Go do my thing. They knew what I was doing, but they didn't give no shit. Right? And went straight to their table, started talking to them. See, I'm the guy that called me to come through. Da, 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 da. Boom. Showed them the chronic. They were like, yo, all right, that's loud. So now I'm waiting for homie to be like, just pull out a wad of money. Because he had, I didn't know who he was at the time. He didn't have the song out yet. Okay. He had two big old platinum chains on his neck, swanging. That was the first time I feel, or maybe the second time that I seen platinum in person. Right? Or what I, it could have been white gold for all I know. I'm like, hmm. That's that platinum shit in the music videos. God damn, you a rapper, rapper. But no money was exchanged yet. Right? I'm expecting them just to pull out a wad of American money. Yo, hold that. <laughs> I'm rich. As rappers be. I didn't get my dough until we left the bar because I was about to bring them to another bar. I'm not going to tell you all the story of where I brought them from Zanzibar over to House of Lancaster after, okay? That's a whole other story. We'll leave that for another day. But before we went to the House of Lancaster, <laughs> right? Y'all follow me, right? Before we went to the House of Lancaster, I'm gonna need a little, I'm gonna need that cash for this for that thing. You know, I don't know if we might separate along the way, whatever, whatever. So instead of PD re reaching for it, he says, yo, talk to my people. They holding the money. So now I gotta talk to Mike Lighty and be like, yo, it costs this much. What's good? And he's like, you know what? I got you, fam. Let's go to the bank machine or the ATM and let me handle it. Let me handle this for you. And he went to the ATM, took out the money, and gave it to me. Not PD Pablo. Okay? This was very er This is early 2000s I'm talking about. Probably 2001. Okay? I learned back then, this might be smoke and mirrors. Okay? There's more to the story after this. How, however, I'll leave that for another day. But it just showed more proof that the nigga with the platinum chains, brand new, head to toe, Carl Kanai or whatever the hell was in style, tracksuit, 
You know what I'm saying? Do rag shining. Didn't have a dime in his pocket. Couldn't even buy the loud that I brought to him. Salute to him. But the exec had the money. He didn't have the money. Oh, this is way past the stat entertainment. This is way past the stat. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, I, 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 got, I got me some rapper pull up. Yo, we need something stories. You know what I'm saying? I have a plethora of them that I will save for a book one day. You know what I'm saying? Salute to Young Buck before all the tranny stuff. Um, <clears throat> so getting back to Herb, it's not hard to believe that somebody like G Herbo ain't got it. I'm sorry, bro. I ain't got it. But I can get it, and I can look just like the rest of the rappers that are around me, except I just ain't making it off of record sales. So when I see a DM from a nigga telling me, yo, yo, your raps are amazing, and I haven't rapped since 2017, I'm like, y'all niggas, I'll be, y'all be frauding out. Y'all be frauding, frauding. Like, salute to top five. He didn't, he didn't get the okie doke. He got his verse. We can see, we can see, um, let me make sure, because it might be AI, you know what I'm saying? But we can see G Herbo, he, he fulfilled his obligations, he did the verse for top five, and he appeared in the video, okay? G Herbo. There he is, I see him, I see him, just making sure he's still there. Okay, so possibly five, you know, was able to circumvent the whole, yo, uh, you know what I'm saying? Let me get a, you know, you need a feature because you can't trust these guys, especially when they're on their face like that, bro. Where am there? Right? Five didn't get the okie doke played on him. He, he got through that one. Okay. I don't know if everybody else was that lucky. Anybody in Toronto, if y'all, you know, maybe sent a couple of racks to Herbo and you're waiting for your verse, you might be having to wait a little bit longer than expected. I'm just saying. Well, yo, hold your head, Her Herbo. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing that serious, bro. You'll be home soon, bro. It's soft. You know what I'm saying? A little fraud thing, bro. Do that on your pinky, bro. Um, we love hip hop. Love hip -hop.